Disney has finally done right by Kelly Marie Tran. Yes, the Star Wars franchise has uh, humiliated, irresponsibly and needlessly, a surprising number of actors. But finally, one of them gets redeemed by another division of the Mouse House. I'm talking Disney animation. But of course, as we all as we all remember, Ryan Johnson had uh, uh, Kelly Marie Tran play a character with some of the worst styling I've ever seen who was an unpopular snitch, let's not forget that, and who Finn actually recoiled from in horror when she tried to kiss him. That was so bad. Uh, I don't blame Kelly Marie Tran for taking the role. Uh, you know, she needed the big break, but wow, she has, talk about paying your dues. And uh, by the way, this she is the first actor that, you know, Star Wars actor that Disney has, has made an effort to redeem. If I were anyone else, you know, I'd be like, can I get some of that? Uh, then in The Rise of Skywalker, she had a much better look, but nobody could really see it because they cut her out of the freaking movie. They even invited her on the mission, but the script has her character say, no thanks guys, I gotta stay back here and wash my hair. But now, Kelly Marie Tran, is a Disney princess, and a legit Disney princess, the daughter of a chief like Pocahontas before her. Yes, that means legit Disney princess. We all love Mulan. I love Mulan. But we can't help but keep bringing up that she's not an actual princess. Uh, she is part of the, like the official lineup, though, but, you know, I think it helps you to actually be a princess. And once you're a Disney princess, you're part of a very exclusive club for life. It works out better for some than others, but still, whenever they have the reunions or they have like, you know, the Disney legacy, they hand out those like uh, plaques and stuff like that, you, you know, you always find yourself being invited. It's, it's like being an Oscar winner. You know, you always are brought back uh, throughout the rest of your life. I think that it's great. It's great job security. Although, Disney is making it clear, well, maybe they're in the Tran business. They might just be in the making it up to Kelly Tran business. Uh, and, you know, this also has to go well. Then I think we'll talk about that in a moment. If it doesn't go well, I think Disney will be like, you know, we, we, maybe, maybe it's you, not me. Um, but I think that Disney likes to be very loyal to talent. And so you could see Kelly Marie Tran maybe not necessarily pop up in like a live action movie, but they got a lot of Disney Plus shows they got to make. And unlike John Boyega, I'm sure Kelly Marie Tran would love to be Disney Plus. I think anyone would be love, love to be Disney Plus. It's turning out pretty darn good. And they just need more content. But unfortunately, Tran's win is Cassie Steele's loss. That's right, it was another lady who showed up at D23 last year when they debuted our very first like look at the uh, concept art for Rhea and the Last Dragon, along with Aquafina, who, who was not replaced. She still co-stars. But as for the former Degrassi star who doesn't have any other history with Disney and isn't a particularly big um, profile overall, I think, I mean, I don't, we don't know how her performance was. I heard from a source of mine that they did do like um, a screening and a screening for the pe for people who work for Disney, uh, friends and family, to show them the movie in progress. And Kelly Marie Tran was already doing the voice at that point. So they replaced Cassie Steele quite a long time ago. Uh, but I think that, you know, maybe, maybe Cassie Steele's performance wasn't up to snuff, but I feel like Kelly Marie Tran brings a lot of other stuff to the table. By casting her here, they not only help support Rose Tico as a character and show themselves doing that. Disney's like, aren't we great? Look what we did. But there's also a legion of people out there who want to see Tran succeed after what happened to her in Star Wars and how she was treated. I felt bad she retreated. Never retreat! But I can certainly understand it. Um, it's, a del it's a delicate balance. I wouldn't fight the haters either, but I, I wouldn't retreat. Uh, I hope she comes back to social media and stuff uh, with Rhea and the Last Dragon. And you know, you can just mute certain words on Twitter if it really bothers her. A lot of celebrities have someone else handle their accounts because they can't take the hate. Uh, it's tough on social media, but don't be a quitter. Uh, and Kelly Marie Tran, she's back, baby. She's back. And I think that people who want to see her succeed will push Rey and the Last Dragon even more because of her involvement. But I hope they don't push it with the revenge narrative because that's just going to make things bad. And on that note, with Tran's involvement, will that bring Star Wars drama over to Disney Animation? They're like, keep that away from us. But I think, I think if she does a really, really good job and if she doesn't poke the bear like some of her co-stars do, I think it'll be a win-win for everyone. I think, I think it'll be... I think it'll really work out well. 
Uh, I wouldn't be concerned about that. Again, I would hope that the media, and if I were Disney, I would dissuade people from saying like, oh, look all you Star Wars haters. She's a great Disney princess, and look how great she is here. I think we can all admit that Rose Tico was not a great character. Don't see a ton of people dressing up as Rose Tico for Halloween. I don't see Rose Tico walking around the Disney theme parks, do you? And the character just didn't work out. It's unfortunate, but it didn't work out. I appreciate what they tried to do, and I'm glad it gave Kelly Marie Tran a big break and introduced her to Disney, and now she's a Disney princess, but Rose Tico just didn't work out. But So I don't think we need to pretend that it did. But I think that it was cruel what happened to her, and I think that the best the best revenge she can have is to just succeed here and not... I wouldn't rub it in people's faces. I, I just think that it's gonna, it's gonna, I don't wanna see that drama with this movie. I really don't. I really don't. Now, the Entertainment Weekly article, which debuted this information and an image that we're gonna go uh, take a closer look at in just a moment, they said that she did do a lot of comedic ad libbing. She does come from a comedy improv background. And again, why didn't she get any funny lines in Star Wars? So annoying. But I, be, I hope those lines are funny because if she, if she doesn't work out as Ray the Last Dragon, then the haters are gonna come for her and say she's zero for two, and that'll be bad. And I hope that Disney Animation will do a better job protecting and looking out for Kelly Marie Tran than Kathleen Kennedy did. You know, it's the producers and the people on the outside looking in who are overseeing everything to take care of their talent and not hang them out to dry. So. I wouldn't, you know, make sure it's actually funny and wasn't just funny in the room. Because, you know, that's a real, that's a big responsibility, not just to Kelly Marie Tran, but everybody who's worked on this movie. Also, comedically, Tran is going to have to compete with Aquafina, who is a talented, huge presence. It's gonna to be tough to compete with Aquafina. That might have been a problem that Cassie still had. They, they might have watched, you know, the, the first or listened to the first audio tracks and been like, she just can't hold her own opposite Aquafina. Uh, so, by the way, I think that Kelly Marie Tran and Aquafina are a fantastic duo. They are just such a good duo from every perspective, creative, fan, to publicity. I think them together promoting this movie is going to be very, very potent. And the filmmakers also say that Tran's role is dramatic as well as comedic, and that she made them, she made them have the feels so much that they not only were in love with her voice work, but they said the way she moved, she really sold it. And they in fact re-blocked animated scenes so they could mirror what she did in the recording booth. How cool is that? So that's even better. So Kelly Marie Tran not only voices Rhea, uh, but she is Rhea. I think that's great. I feel very strongly that I wish, I would like to see all, always voice actors do the motion capture reference work for their characters. I just think, I don't, I don't know, but then would they have too much ownership of the character? Disney, of course, tries to dissuade that because Disney owns the character. <laughs> all right, now, also I have to say, bottom line, who can mess this up? This is amazing. This character looks so good. Now, the bigger image is the one that's the official first look from Entertainment Weekly. Fully rendered, says Disney. I don't really care. The other image is much better, which we'll talk about in a moment. Not fully rendered. But this one is nice. It's a cool sword, very cool sword. Very like 80s uh, animation, by the way. Also a little Shira-y, you know, even Shira today. Boy, <laughs> the Shira controversy that erupted last night. Oh. She also wears a cape. Sorry, Edna. Edna's like, I'm even a Disney, a fellow Disney character. And next to her is her ride, Tuk Tuk, a little like Tik Tok, but Tuk Tuk, described as an armadillo slash bear, although personally reminds me of Aang's Appa. You know, The Last Airbender has a lot of South, uh, Southeast Asia influences, and so I'm curious if they'll, these, these two properties will end up feeling similar. And by the way, I don't think Tuk Tuk flies, but he reminds me a lot of Appa anyway. Apple walked around sometimes. Plus, look at that. Is that a castle on top of that donut mountain? Looks like, oh boy. And I love the architectural style. I think it is just so fantastic that Disney is making an animated movie about Southeast Asia. It's just, and a gorgeous, unique region. It's really fantastic. But let's turn our attention to this look at Rhea, which I feel is far superior. And quite frankly, I would have made it the first official image from the movie. This leaked a few weeks ago as I tweeted. Uh, I didn't actually tweet the image because I talked to my sources at Disney who not only said it was legit, but that Disney was very upset that it leaked. But it's magic. It's To me, it's the real magic sauce here. This, is, this character looks fierce and beautiful, iconic but still relatable, and 100% a Southeast Asian character. Which, and that to me is something truly special. I am so happy for the leaps and bounds in black representation in Hollywood lately, but I'm also very eager to see other groups get on the board as well. And I know many of you are equally eager and 
I was eager and even frustrated. So this is fantastic. Look at the detail work on her hat and her vest. And this isn't even a fully rendered image. I remember the detail work on Elsa, Elsa in particular, her costume in Frozen 2. I can't wait to see that on Rhea. The hat, the vest, her belt. I mean, it's just amazing. She looks like a perfect successor to Elsa and Anna. I can't wait for all the Raya merch, and I can't wait to see her incorporated into the Disney parks as only Disney can. Disney can bring their properties to life, and it is truly the Disney magic. So uh, I, I wish the official first image was this good, but I'm sure we'll soon be seeing uh, more. Raya had to be pushed due to the pandemic. It was originally supposed to be a Thanksgiving release. Now Seoul has that release date, but Raya wasn't ready anyway. Uh, in fact, I've heard that everyone on Disney Animation has had all their computers brought to their homes and they're working remotely. But it's coming along. It's coming along. And we'll now hit theaters March 12, 2021. But I think considering the setting, uh, again, in Southeast Asia, I think a spring release, you know, with all the rain and the green. Oh, it's so beautiful. I think that's a great release date. I think it's going to be great. I can't wait. What do you think? What do you think of what do you think of uh, Disney making it up to Kelly Marie Tran? Do you think this does it? Do you think she'll do you think she'll stick the landing or do you think she'll be zero for two? What do you think? And how do you think she should handle it? And do you think or, or, or are you like, no, we should rub it in everyone's face? Let's not bring that drama here. All right, so what, again, what do you think? Share your thoughts down below, subscribe today, and of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.